everybody welcome to another off stream episode with yours truly new world is delicious today we're gonna touch on the some of the basic lookouts for operation dark hours rate number one in division the game two uh, let's dive into it shall we uh, the first build of course is your classic uh, dps build i would strongly suggest running with glass cannon and uh, vigilance why because you need to work as eight men and women together eight agents together so that you can take out npc fast with your optimized dps uh, builds accordingly but uh, please feel free to just um, coordinate with your teammates uh, uh, to see if your team has enough dps to run uh, glass cannon for every reader okay guys the next build i would like to strongly suggest to the whole to red team is the mmr support build so this is the build that i have uh, come up with it's basically it's basically a uh, um, SVD paratrooper, paratrooper SVD, uh, running with Overwatch that gives a total weapon damage and skill damage increase of 12% if you stay in cover for more than 10 seconds. Okay, guys. And the next on the backpack would be opportunistic, and this is the reason why you must be using a marksman rifle. Okay, why this build, you ask? And not forgetting the coyote mask. Uh, because uh, this build is, uh, like I said, it's an MMR support build. So you might want to consider having this build in your team. Remember when we do the red video, we had a uh, position number six. Position number six, uh, taking out taking out ads, uh, the position number six is positioned here. So I'm thinking instead of position at, num at that location where I was just at, number six radar can be in the computer dealing with the computer's uh, first round or computer first so the uh, this npc sorry this radar will stay only in the in this computer area dealing with a b c d computer this this radar can also be uh helping to uh helping the team to proc overwatch and opportunistic at the same time so uh this radar will be taking out ads will be helping to uh take out uh ads and even a pro opportunistic on the boomers on the bosses uh, 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 hit to increase uh, DPS for everybody okay guys so yeah so this is the build one more time running with a uh, one piece of walker one piece of Araudi, one piece of uh, providence two piece of uh, aces and one piece of uh, coyote mask to gain uh, one of these uh, one of these boosts okay guys okay next we're gonna move on to the next uh, build so uh, we have been discussing within our own uh, within our clan um, so we have tested during last stream if you guys have caught my last uh, live stream we actually tested three different types of weapons to see which weapon will actually gives you the best dps over time between a window of five to seven or ten seconds uh, for the body and lucifer uh, this is the reason why we have uh, these different loadouts today uh, inclusive of the MMR support build so this build as you can see here is a quick chance and headshot stack if you look at the overall statistics it's 57.5 uh, quick, quick chance and 265 uh, headshot damage so if you were to compare uh, would you actually gain more headshot damage to critical hit damage actually headshot damage would, uh, uh, would be more you will gain more headshot damage if you build a headshot damage build but this build is actually designed specially for uh only boss fight number three but if you're comfortable to use this build uh please feel free to use this build um uh throughout all the way during the raid okay guys so just imagine if this is a uh, body and lucy you need to first prop your perfect focus Bring up to uh, maximum, you can see the perfect focus is charging up below the number 85 and just fire and just unload your MG5. I highly suggest using MG5 because okay, once your MG5 one is finished, you can you can equip with two MG5s. This build we actually uh, managed to achieve 1 million, 1 million uh, hits. Uh, per crit hits so in total that's why uh, we managed to calculate that um there's a uh, uh, at least 85 million 85 million uh, dps output over the period of time over the window of uh, five to ten seconds uh at the body and lucy uh fight okay guys we intend to try this look out 
within our clan when we start our when we go for our first uh, clan raid okay so next would be um within our clan we are also planning to use the btsu uh, shock trap to trap Barney and Lucy in the middle so that they wouldn't they leave the center while everybody can take down Lucy first followed by Buddy, the uh, um, speed runway uh, okay so for this build but I have, I have thought of I thought, thought to myself since I'm going to be stacking my builds on status effect I might as well stack my build on um, a little bit of uh, explosive as well so yeah, as you can see here my this build is pretty meticulous uh, it has been optimized and built over a, a long period of time so but if you by any chance have this built with you please use it i say uh, so the shock trap would last be about 7.6 seconds i think it should be enough time to uh, to trap button and lose it in the middle and now i'm um, you are also running btsu on this on this uh build so how i would suggest running this build is first to um is to do is to proc your overcharge first after proc once buddy and lucy is uh, coming out proc your overcharge first then release your shock trap while buddy and lucy is walking out at the same time so they will be trapped in the middle because you're in overcharge so the overcharge traps will actually trap buddy and lucy longer in their various uh, position okay guys i hope this build works so once bunny and lucy has come out switch your weapon to the demo uh, to the demo your special your specialization uh weapon m3 2a1 multi-shot grenade launcher if you're gonna be running this build please make sure that um throughout the whole raid since the beginning of the raid you are already running with a demolition list okay guys with your dps rmg build or ar or your rifle build please make sure if you're running this demo build you're already running with the demolition list specialization is very important because uh you're only able to acquire specialized specialization ammo uh if you were to not change your uh, specialization all the way until Buddy and Lucy, the third boss fight. So you might want to take note to save all of your loadouts under demolition list. So when you when you swap to your BTSU shock, you can be sure that you you have the you have the grenade grenade launchers to fire on Buddy and Lucy, uh, Buddy and Lucy or Lucy first. Okay, Lucy first. So you can help with the DPS at the same time. So hence, uh, this is the this is called the. Uh, I will call this uh, build the BTSU Shock Demo Build. I need to write out on my notes as well. Okay, guys. I can also uh, rename. This is the BTSU Shock Demo Build. So instead of doing nothing and just build, uh, equipping yourself with a six-piece yellow, six yellows build, you might as well make, uh, build your build up and stack on status E and uh, explosive damage. Okay, guys. So I have. Uh, I'm very very lucky. I actually managed to find uh, some pretty good uh, gear pieces throughout my journey here in Division the game. So um, this build is two piece Grupo, one piece Wyvern, one piece uh, China Light, and one piece Golden. All stack on skill damage and status effect, and of course the BTSU glove. So okay, I hope uh, this build you like it. Uh, I kind of uh, cracked a little bit of my head into it. Now the next build to give your whole red team the full uh, uh, damage output. I come up with this uh, build for the uh, body and Lucy fight specifically as well. Uh, this is called I would like. This is uh, actually called the Future Initiative Demolition List build. So same as of. Um, if you're using if you're gonna be if you're gonna be in charge of running this specific build at Buddy and Lucy fight, because this four piece initiative will give your whole red team 15% uh, weapon damage if you are at full armor. So um the talents I've chosen for this build is this is this build is actually stacked on skill damage only. Okay guys, stack on skill damage. And I have China Light Industry running on my vest with glass cannon. I have Wyvern and Combined Arms running on my backpack. So again, once again, instead of doing nothing at your designated location, 
at your uh, running this build you want to throw down your booster hive you want to deploy your turret and uh, fire on buddy and lucy while firing uh, at buddy and lucy at the same time i hope uh, this build works i can't wait to test it out myself so instead of doing nothing Instead of doing nothing and just giving your teammates the future initiative ground control buff, you are actually also doing a fair share of a DPS on Barney and Lucy. Okay, guys. Okay, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy uh, today's video. And please tell me what you think about uh, the suggested basic loadouts for Operation Dark Hour Spread Number One in Division and Game Two. And I will see you live on the next one. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget to subscribe below and uh, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for next going live updates see you guys